Welcome back. And speaking of history, what a callback today to a scene from 57 years ago today. Americans descending on the nation's capital, peaceful crowds surrounding the reflecting pool with urgent pleas for voting rights and end to police brutality, a call for racial justice and equality. Back on August 28 of 1963, it was called the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, remembered forever for the I Have a Dream speech by the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It had to be modernized for 2020, so today's gathering was billed as the Commitment March, Get Your Knee Off Our Necks. An obvious reference to the late George Floyd, it comes days after Jacob Blake was shot seven times by police. And just like 57 years ago, today's speakers called for justice, equality, and an end to systemic racism. It's been a long, long time coming. I know is going to come. It was on this day in 1963 that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and our newly beloved ancestors, John Lewis and C.T. Vivian, spoke from this very spot. For Congressman Lewis, the brutal murder of Emmett Till is what shook loose the activist inside him. It was the start of a lifelong journey towards service and driving change. The same journey that countless young leaders are building upon as we speak. As John put it, Emmett Till was my George Floyd. He was my Rayshard Brooks, Sandra Bland, and Breonna Taylor. We've gone from a mean-spirited sheriff to a mean-spirited president. Mr. Trump look right down the block from the White House. We come to Washington by the thousands. We gonna call their name. There are two systems of justice in the United States. There's a white system and there's a black system. The black system ain't doing so well. But we're gonna stand up. Every black person in the United States is going to stand up. We're tired. How would the history books remember you? What would be your legacy? Will your future generations remember you for your com complacency, your inaction? Or would they remember you for your empathy, your leadership? There's a knee upon the neck of democracy, and our nation can only live so long without the oxygen of freedom. What we need is change, and we're at a point where we can get that change, but we have to stand together. We have to vote. We will meet the moment. We will work towards healing, justice, and collective liberation like our lives. 